Hi, I'm back for another run of Across the Obelisk on uh, Madness 16. Um, and I thought I'd show you the most consistent way I found to get out of Act 1. Um, so, just looking at this, uh, these are two runs that I did um, about a week ago. Testing how consistent I can be with this... Uh, um, with this strategy and uh, it uh, in my testing I did basically I think it was th four runs in a row um, that got out of act one with like not much of a not much trouble um, this is the comp it's got Andrin um, oh this is a different one I was doing um, uh, it's got Andrin Otis and Nez and Heiner. So sort of similar to the Evelyn run, but with Otis in this spot instead. Um, and the Evelyn runs um, definitely can fail. Like I died in Act 1 a bunch. Um, I do think it's maybe a little bit more powerful once you get out of Act 1, but it's not guaranteed and it's uh, a harder uh, start. So um, this Otis run is almost guaranteed through Act 1. And I'll, and I'll show and talk to you about the specifics. Um, you're going to want to look for two specific nodes on the map and find them. So there's a node right here that is the jeweler. And you want that node. And you want this node over here, grave on a road. Um, this can upgrade to the sheep event. You don't want the sheep event because you're not going up here to get Dolly or, or Betty. Um, you're gonna want to get the ring from this grave on the road event that that Otis um, is going to he, he has a special thing here where he gets to exercise the grave and you get to get the rings uh, for free so you there's a reason you want this um, and I'll explain it once we get to the ring so I can I can show you guys that well, actually I can leave the tome of knowledge here so I'll just show you right now um, so, there's a ring somewhere in here. Oh, here it is. Eerie ring. Um, combat start add a dark and a sight to all monsters. So, the reason this is important is because on in the Yelmer fight, you really want to get three uh, curses or debuffs on the uh, Yelmer before you add any mark to him. Um, he dispels three on his second turn. And you really want to stack as much mark on him as possible for, like, turns three and four in the fight. Um, and you, so you basically want to get your the mark stacks as high as possible um, before he dispels them. And so, getting this adds another debuff to the tree. It adds dark um, that will not or that is there before he then um, is getting mark added to him. And so it is quite effective at uh, helping helping that. And so the only way to get Grave on the Road and then get the Moonstone Ritual, which is one of the reason, the main reason why Otis is here, um, he gets to come down here with a deck full of spells, and there's a an a, you, you can have him learn a spell, a new spell from the Dryad, and then she also gives you the Moonstone, which is pretty sick. Um, which makes the tree fight way easier because the dryad is one of the reason, one of the like most RNG parts of the tree fight. And so you get to come in here, do the fight without the dryad, and with this pretty sick spell for for Otis. So um, those are the those are the nodes we need to look for. Um, so it will take a little bit of doing, but the the jeweler node does pop up quite often yep so here we are so we have the grave on the road so we want and we have the jeweler that's all you need um, past that like this wolf in distress this is a negative you want this to be the um, divination location so I can we can just reroll um, so this one the stargazer event this is better right this is uh, an event where you bring Nez and you get like an advanced divination. Um, and so you'll see here, 
We have the lost sheep. We don't want that. Um, and and I've done this where literally like this. Um, this is the super consistent way of doing it. Like if you want to guarantee yourself out of Act One, but I've done a lot of runs where you basically just walk it down this way. Like you don't even you don't even go to the grave on the road. It grave on the road makes it more consistent, but it's definitely not required. You can just like walk down this way and, and get the moonstone ritual and then or moonstone ritual right here, and you're good to go. So I'll go with this. We don't have the divination, but there is like the goblin settlement, so this is this is fine. Um, nothing in the shop that's very interesting. So what we're gonna do on Nezluk by Ockley as always on Andrin by Asmodi. Um, if you don't know how to unlock these, um, Esmodi is a little bit more doing, um, but is quite useful. So that's one of the ones I would suggest trying to unlock if you if you haven't. Um, there's some descriptions of how to do those on um, the like the Steam forums and whatnot. So um, quite good. Um, adds mark and slow each turn along with some burn. Pretty nice. Um, and then from there, um, Andrin, he is going to, um, oh, we we're going to, I was going to swap this around. What is, okay, so we'll do, let me take a look, because I'm actually, oh yeah, it's these ones. Okay, so this, um, is the deck that I've been running. Um. For Nesglect. Um, you had two upgraded foresights, uh, zero cost uh, uh, skill, but uh, deals damage, applies sight, pretty nice. Same with the bad auguries. Um, when Andrin's applying a bunch of mark, which I'll show you his deck in a sec, then these are going to be quite effective. And uh, yeah, healing rains do with the, the different burn stuff that's around, along with giving a bit of extra healing. Def uh, I've been doing an upgraded to spell just because it's quite a lot of value and then yeah just the normal stuff outside of that um, so let's grab that and then for Otis you'll notice this deck is nothing but spells so we had to take out all his defensive cards um, and we haven't added any skills yet um, we want basically to create as small a deck as possible um, uh, with uh, only spells. So we've got Dawn Lights here, we've got Healing Rains, we've got the Upgraded Heals, um, a Vile Gas. Um, we want his deck to be able to consistently do the Dryad event, which you'll see later. Um, there's also some other events in Act 1 that are dependent on him having a deck full of spells, so that's quite good. Um, Heiner, he gets some punches and some repair armors. And then I'm taking out two guards and two steel skins. And then um, Andrin, um, he has a setup like this um, with chance, a song, a vigilance, um, and then the mark stuff and toxic rains and an upgraded uproot. This makes it so you can pull the thorns off of the Yelmer in the in the fight in the in the boss fight. Uh, so we can also then stack stack up our mark, and uh, he his deck is cheap enough that he doesn't really need anything else. Uh, like all these other cards are just burning, and then he's just cycling through basically um, these six cards: the toxic rains, the mark cards, and an uproot. Um, and so, yeah, that's uh, that's what you need there. And these are all, like, I didn't do any divinations. This is all just from the uh, starting uh, shards that you get on Madness 16, which is a lot lower. Um, and so, yeah, that's the that's the setup. Um, you obviously can buy items. Um, some of the best ones are the ring that gives you mark. Um, let's see... What is that? Mark. Um, hunting ring is quite good. Um, any any of the sight cards for um, Nez, so like vision ring or 
Um, Divination Orb are obviously very good for Nez. Um, there's some, any like defensive cards for Heiner are pretty good. Um, but like these are not going to be effective enough to really do much. So I'm just going to leave those there. And uh, since we do have the jeweler ring, we can walk here and take a look at the items they carry. Okay, so here we've got a stone amulet. I think stone amulet's pretty decent. Um, so I'm going to take that. Um, and cheese is interesting. Um, Otis often is the squishiest person. Um, he, his resistances are quite poor. And, uh, and so I do think grabbing cheese for him is going to be pretty good. Um, make him a bit tankier. Make a, I mean, that's basically 15 health per turn or 10 since you lose one. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. So... Let's go with that. Um, pretty decent. Um, Heiner's going to be a little squishy. Um, he doesn't have any extra resist. But uh, should be okay. This, this uh, I've done this uh, numerous times without any resist. So. Okay, we don't have anyone breaking armor. So that's good. Okay, we're back. Um, so in this fight, um, I want to make sure to not let Yas Jasper um, get too or take like stay high health for too long. Um, he's gonna explode, and so I think I think let's uh, try to kill this initiate um, first. He has a bunch of mark on him. And uh, he also then is healing up and stuff, so let's try to kill him first, and then go after uh, Jasper after that. Oh, I should have done that in the opposite order. I would have gotten this uh, crack off of Heiner, which would have been helpful. Oh, Asmodi knows, knows where to <laughs> target. Um, I am going to start targeting Jasper with the poison. And start. We have enough mark, and he's gonna die pretty soon. So hopefully we can take him out. Let's get this firebrand out of here. Um, none of these target. Which he doesn't have much to. I don't know if he has anything that targets. The heat laser will be good though. Andrin's getting getting slapped a bit. Okay. Good job, boar. Just <laughs> add more bleed, please. <laughs> um Take this guy down and then start in. I want to like stack some Sanctify on Jasper since I'm going to be hitting him next. Um, okay, that was nice. Let's heal up Andrin a bit. And then let's see if we can. Okay, good. So we did find a little bit of damage to make sure this guy dies. No one else is healing, so. Okay, so I don't, I think I've, he blows up on turn five, I believe. 
Could be four. I think it's five, though. Okay, punch the boar. Shield up. And I'm always shielding Heiner. He has fortify. Like, nobody else is going this round. That's one thing to always keep in mind. Um, at least at the beginning of these fights, is that um, healing or shielding other people without fortifies is. Uh, not very good at the end of the end of the fights, or at the end of the rounds. I mean, sure. And then uh, one thing about like Act One is you're r rarely casting these expected prophecies. Sometimes you will to like, okay, I need a damage card. Like, let's see if I can find one. But uh, it's I don't think super common that you will. Okay, is he blowing up? He is. Okay. So, we gotta hope that Nez can deal some damage to him. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, we can see if we find another damage card, which we did. Okay, um... And, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, this isn't too bad. I mean, I think it could have been a little bit better, could have come out of this fight with a bit more health, but, uh, not the worst. Like, if we had, if we had done, if we had done damage to the, um, to Jasper a little bit earlier. I think it could have been nice. Oh, this is an interesting pick here. Um, remember with uh, Otis, basically you do not want to add any skills to his deck. You can't, if you get like a really good one, you can take one, maybe two, and risk like the 90% instead of 100% chance with the Dryad, but like if you, if you miss on the Dryad, the run's basically over. I mean, you can still it's like, yeah, it's a very bad thing. So you don't really want to miss. So the only reason to take it is if it's quite good. So if you get like an upgraded fanaticism or something like that, then yeah, you should probably take it. But um, most of those you can avoid. Um, so this one, I want both of these. The shield bash is, it's corrupted. I mean, shield 30 for two later down the line. I, I've gone back and forth between Iron Furnace and Defense Mastery. I do think I, li I like Iron Furnace more, but Defense Mastery is probably better. Um, I think Blood for Blood is going to be better in the long run, especially in Act 1. Act 1, I feel like there's just a bunch of bleed. So, this is the Grave on the Road. So, what uh, you want to do is come in here. If you look at these, like, if you come in here and you just take some time to search for shards, it, you just find shards and nothing else. If you dig and hope for the best, then I think you get a fight. Um, and then you have, like, a chance at the end to get it. I'm, I don't remember. With Otis, this is by far the best. Uh, you just get to do an exorcism and uh, open the chest. Okay, so we've got an Eerie Ring. This is actually, it's funny because the Corrupted version, the Corruption version is good. It is worse than the normal version if you just want to get out of Act 1. Uh, because this is every turn. It means that uh, it won't be on the boss for Andrin's first turn. And so Andrin will... Um, yeah, so it won't be on the boss for Andrin's first turn, and then Andrin, in turn, cannot... Uh, like, if Asmodi marks up the boss, then the mark is there, and it can cause issues. So it is very good for... Like, uh, it's nice to have a corrupted eerie ring like this maybe maluka's favorite ring it's quite good on her um but in this case 
it's maybe a little bit worse than the other one. So, um, despite that, yeah, I'm definitely going to take it. So let's uh, take it on. It's interesting because I usually take it on Otis. I'd almost all, I almost always put it on Otis because Nezglak, his ring slot, you can, there are a bunch of like uh, places to find rings in this beginning section. And so Nez can often find a sight ring or vision ring to slot in. So, um, yeah, let's, let's take it on Otis and then we can just take some gold and some more gold. Okay, free upgrade. Let's see, what would we upgrade? A bluff. A vile gas. And maybe a curative therapy. And... Okay. Um, I don't... I think this one's possible, but I'm just gonna, I just want to show you like the baseline. Okay. Like you can get through act one. So don't want to, don't want to risk it. Not being able to cast my toxic rains and whatnot. Okay. And let's usually, um, I do like to mark up the, at least initially mark up the one that's actually got the first set of mark from Esmodi. Um, just then you can target all your damage at that particular mob and um, get a little bit more value out of the mark than it being separated. Because if I'd like marked up the boar, then I would have to then pick between, okay, like am I attacking the imp or am I attacking the boar? So. Um, but now that like this imp is pretty low and it's not getting healed up by anyone, then I will now start targeting the mark other places. Okay. So I think next up we'll just target this boar down, just, uh, Going front character does help with the damage a little bit because then Heiner can more easily uh, help uh, by hitting the front monster. Let's get rid of those. How much mana does he have? Sure. Throw some more healing rains out. Take out the imp, which is nice, and then move on to the boar. Um, and almost always, like with the delicious scent stuff, uh, I leave that uh, champion monster till the last, just so that I'm not fighting all these other monsters with extra powerful and like healing them all up and whatnot. So. Gonna take out an expect a therapy. Not very good at the moment. As you can see, not casting them very often. They will be very good in Act uh, in Act Two and whatnot. But uh, we will add the bleed to the um, toasty though. That's that's pretty nice to just get that free damage in. And he's the only one with fortify, so. Make sure to add block to them. Um, yeah. um, this turn we are getting um, earthquake, so 
think it is, it's definitely worth it to shield other people. Or, or block for my other characters. And... Let's save the, the energy. You can notice here, just Otis has a pretty ridiculous health pool. <laughs> He's got already 7 vitality. Which is quite nice, because yeah, you'll like... If you just like compare... The, the resist. So, he has an extra... Oh, 30 here, so like... Well, I guess Nez's are pretty bad. Not, not much better. But, Nez ha does have a higher health pool, so... I'll have to look at their resist to start at the start of the fight. <laughs> Next fight, just so I can... Take it in without having to... Try to do... Do math on it. <laughs> Okay, and this should be the end of the fight. I, I have, with this team, like, I think you are able to end fights quite often by round four. Um, which is, is pretty nice. Like, if you can consistently do this, you'll have a decent amount of, uh, shards and gold for, for the next act. Um. Okay. Okay, I don't think I need any of that. Don't think I need any of this. None of that, none of that. Okay, Bandit Patrol. Um, if you don't have this event, you actually get to use Otis's uh, deck full of spells to convince them to not fight you. And so it's actually better to not have the little green event here. Um, but you could combat them if you want. Um, I find that this shards option is the best. Um, I have not ever tried this. As you can see, 2% chance doesn't seem super likely. Um, but just trying to sneak away and find some shards, I think, is usually the best. Um, now, we did miss it. So... Uh, Nez got the one two cost, or I guess he has three two cost cards in his deck, but, uh, so, I mean, this, this fight isn't too bad, though, so, it's not, it's not a disaster to, to miss that roll, um, and so, let's just see if we can get Heiner into a set of decent cards, and... That seems fine. Take out this four quite quickly. Um, so one thing about this comp versus some of the other ones I've run, um, like with with Otis instead of Evelyn, like the last one that I that I sh put on the on the channel, um, you do not have anyone to provide insulate, um, which is a pretty valuable thing to have, and so you do have to be a bit careful in the fights you choose. Some of the um, fights can be quite a lot more dangerous than you may be used to if you're running a more balanced comp with like one of each character um, and so so yeah just be a little bit cognizant of that um, just going down the line of most mark basically or is uh, quite dead. So 
so much bleed that he can give away. We can also make Nez quick. Guess I didn't need to spend that mana, but. <laughs> sure, we can get rid of an intercept. Still find it nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm glad I took the the blood for blood. It's a pretty nice one. Okay, and the turn four win. Don't need any of those. Um, these are eh, fine, but like, I might take a barrier if it weren't for trying to keep his deck full of spells at the moment. So we'll just uh, skip over those. And then here, I don't think these are worth it since um, we already have Heiner with a stone amulet. We have the Eerie Ring that we want to keep, and so it would just be for two. And you can find some pretty good rings here, including a Vision Ring. I mean, this is this is pretty sweet, but uh, that is unavailable at the moment. So Vision Ring is awesome. Let's grab one of those. Um, I think I just save for the rest. We could grab like a gold chain or something, but I don't think it's needed. Andron's usually not the one in trouble dying, and he has some some rings in the future. Um, this stuff, sneak away. I don't think there's really much an advantage of an advantage to doing that. Um, uh, and so, just confronting the pigmen to help is what I believe to be the best option. I would, uh, getting experience and whatnot from fights is, I think, quite good, and so I'd rather do that. Okay, let's just, oh, that was the, some, some ordering issues, but, uh, um, and I've, I've tried this with other people up front. We actually, when we initially started this, we did, um, we had a, a Gurkly tanking up here. Um, it is doable. I We've gotten to Act 4 with Gurkly. Oh, one of my friends and I, we got to Act 4 with Gurkly tanking uh, along with the same comp. And so it is doable. Um, but it is not nearly as consistent as... Oh, that was the wrong... I just mistargeted onto Otis. My, uh... My, my old man hands are not, uh... <laughs> uh definitely not, uh, what they used to be. But yeah, so other, like, um... Other tanks are, like, can work, and... Um... You can, you can switch around the comp, but this is what I found to be the most consistent of any of the stuff I've tried, at least. Okay, we may be able to end this in gray. My guess is no, because this uh, second second pig is not quite uh, has not quite taken enough damage. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's... Let's make sure to kill this guy, this pig, before the other one can heal him. Okay, don't need any of that. Heiner gets punching. a turn where casting one of these is worth it just because uh, he can find an extra damage card and end the fight before he gets to go. Um, I will take another repair armor. Repair armor is pretty sweet. Um, interesting. The wrong healing rain upgrade. I don't think I want that. Um, a Holy Nova, though. Okay, oh, sorry about the phone. Okay, so, um, getting another atonement is fine, um, but I don't think it's super important, and, uh, there are some, getting, like, just getting another chance to get corrupted items is, I think, worth it, and this is always guaranteed, so, because of Otis having the... Um, the full deck of spells. So this is, uh, uh, sure, we'll grab a ring for 25 gold. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. Okay, so, so this is something where you can come up to this fight and then come down to this one. Kind of want to take a look and see if, like, how uh, difficult this fight is. If it looks easy, then you can you can take it just fine. If it's like gonna be super annoying, then maybe skip it. Um, this does have a dryad in it. Um, I'll do it because um, just to like show what the the dryad like the dryad fight and whatnot but uh i'm not sure that it's um like this is this is one i probably normally just skip like the dryad is quite annoying so uh, definitely definitely one that uh I would avoid if possible, but just they, this this can be a fight that you may run into that you have to do, and so I'll uh, I'll do it and uh, we'll hopefully make it through. Um, let's. Oh, maybe I should have put that on Nez since Otis. I always I keep forgetting that Otis has the cheese, but. Uh, Okay, so luckily this guy had taken a little bit more damage, so the Dryad targeted him.
Okay, everything at the Dryad. And... The one nice thing is... Was the Dryad did not speed boost last turn. So, there is a chance... That we can uh, kill her this turn before she goes again. Um, and I think... So Otis definitely has a higher chance. Okay, so we actually got both. So let's do this. And then... Let's see here. Let's check Otis's. And... So I think he'll be casting these. So let's get rid of this, because he has a chance to get another zero cost. Okay, well this is actually... Okay, nice. So, you see there, just by focusing the Dryad with um, Mark, you can, you can take her down pretty quick. Um, we did get lucky by her not speed boosting. I mean, that's the biggest, like, RNG aspect of the Dryad. Like, any Dryad fight is, like, Okay, are they just going to randomly speed boost their team and make it so I can't... Like, they get to then do their Starfall thing before they're dead? <laughs> so... That is something... I, that's something you just don't have control over, though, so... Um... So yeah, you always want to play it in the way that, like, gives you the chance of actually... Taking her out before she does her... Starfall, Moonfall, or whatever it's called. Um, and from here, I think this fight is pretty simple. Double tree fights can be kind of scary, but we do have all these repair armors, which makes it much less scary, because then you get uh, reinforce on everyone, and you get to take the crack off for very little. Um, and so, usually from from here, it's like not not. I think I think a pretty simple. Um, pretty simple fight. Um, and the reason you would want to do an extra fight is it does give you extra um, rewards and you get extra experience and more gold and, and uh, shards. So it is worth it if you think you can do it without costing too much. Which, in this case, it looks like we will come out of this fight at, like, basically full health. And, uh, yeah. So. Okay, let's make sure this guy's dead. Let's back up some sight and heal up Heiner. Um, and you'll see just like the one, like having Asmodi here stacking up uh, the extra um, mark is pretty nice. Um, it's a little bit of extra damage through the burn. You see that just sort of casually around from Otis and him. But then the, the mark is really what uh, what makes him quite useful. Um, 
Just a uh, 22 damage bad auguries are nice. <laughs> and yeah, can take off a bunch of bleed. That's pretty good. Cool, we get this uh, good performance bonus, which is nice, plus 30%. Don't need any of that, don't need any of that. Um, and so yeah, then we get to come down this way. Um, this is the path, so uh, Moonstone Ritual. The Goblin Settlement is sometimes here, and when it is, it's nice, but uh, not too big a deal if it's not there. Um, okay, so, uh, Rare Equipment Shop is going to be good, and like this, this Vigorous, very easy to deal with. Um, so, let's see if we get lucky with the Rare Equipment Shop. Um, in this one, um, we're gonna focus on the shaman. He heals a bunch, so taking him out early will be nice. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I didn't look at the the ooze purging. So Heiner, that was just actively bad to put Heiner in front of the ooze. But uh, yeah, I guess you live and learn. I do that all the time too, <laughs> like just not thinking um, about the the purge armor stuff. Um. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I am back now. Let's see.
Anyway, um, so these fights, um, the ooze is kind of annoying just because he doesn't get any poison. This tree four is kind of annoying because he doesn't get any poison. Um, so let's uh, stack up some mark on him, and then. Um, just try to find our way into the mark more often. And you'll notice, like, just from the, the combat log, he... Uh, Andrin has dealt, like, 500 of, of his damage so far as poison. I mean, a lot of this damage is from mark. Um, but... Um, and so, like, not being able to poison two of the enemies in this fight is a pretty big deal, and terms of our dam, like how quickly our damage goes out. We can make the ooze bleed, which is nice. Slow down Trevor, even though we're all rooted, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, we're stacking up enough sight and insane that like we are healing quite a bit in the each turn in this. And I think now I'm gonna start stacking mark on the ooze. Just so that I can transition to to going after him pretty soon. Okay, 19 poisons a lot. Because he does have 45 vitality at this point. Nice targeting as Modi. <laughs> There's some useless toxic rain out there. This guy's clearly dead. And these can't be rained on. But. Okay, so this took a little bit longer. This vigorous probably cost us grand victory but that's fine we got some other stuff out of it so boom uh, don't need any of this don't need any of this okay exposed armor is interesting I don't think it's worth it right now. Hmm. I kind of do want to take it. Hmm. I'm gonna take it. I don't know that it's good, but uh... oh, nice! So we got a hunting ring, which is awesome. Definitely the best thing here. Okay, let's grab a Steel Forge. Let's grab Praise the Sun. This card is very good against the tree. Um, Night Terror, just awesome as always, and Wild Hunt. And here's what we're here for. Um, oh, oh, ah. Okay, I shouldn't have leveled him. Because now I can hit in chat. I should have waited till after this event to level him. Okay, well that's something if you do end up leveling before, make sure to not take this until after the event. If I hit it here, I would laugh so hard. Oof, okay. 
So, this is the reason we're here. Um, well, I guess two reasons. Getting rid of the Dryad in the fight, very good. Um, and Otis gaining this card is quite insane. So, six times you're doing this. Um, with Mark, that means, like, the Mark is... A f like, you get the bonus from the Mark 12 times, because you get two on each of this. Um, which is pretty insane. Um, and along with that, uh, the tree is very weak to holy and fire. So this is just like the tree killing machine. Um, here, uh, like, I don't remember what you get from killing them. I don't think it's very much. Uh, I don't think this is very good. This is awesome though. You get this well fed in your deck, which just adds some vitality and regen at the beginning of every fight, which is awesome. That's cool. Um, okay, so this one isn't too bad. Um, I mean, it is 10% resistances from all of them. There is a Dryad in the fight, but I think we'll be okay. Just gotta take up the Dryad. And she's not speed boosting, so that should be easier than... Oh, man. <clears throat> the hunting ring is just so good. It also improves the mark that uh, Asmodi gives out, which is awesome. I probably should have repaired Heiner's armor to give him the reinforce, but... Okay, so... Let's uh, cast our Starfall. Hope we can kill the stride before she ca casts hers. <laughs> I guess, yes, yeah, Starfall. It is Starfall. I always forget the name. Okay, nice. Just want the extra vulnerable on her. I think it's worth it, even though it does a slightly less damage to her. Getting the extra Sanctify on everyone else will be nice. Okay, we made it. It was a little close. Um, okay, so these are not needed. We can get rid of that. Heiner had it covered the whole time. Okay, so some decay. Hopefully we can clear that off of him. Before too far into the fight. And in order to do that, I'm gonna just plow through this deck to try to find a dispel. Okay. It is nice to do that, save that for Starfall, but sometimes um, just getting a little bit of value out of it's okay. I think I maybe it would have been better to save it for the Starfall. But and I do have a bunch of mana here, so I will cast this just to find some extra damage cards. It's nice getting out of the damage in on the Curtis while he doesn't have his stealth thing up. Okay, Steel Skin is nice. Ooh, we even get to damage Curtis.
Oh no, Andrin's shackled. And here we go. It's just so fun casting a spell. Setting up pretty well for the for the boss fight. Okay, not much mark on this ooze, which is kind of sad, but uh Um, and one thing to th think about when once Otis gets Starfall is you basically want to cast Starfall every turn. And so um, as much as you can, you want to like sort of preserve and save mana to allow for that. Six damage, exactly. Okay, shake it off is something that I sometimes will take. Um, I don't think I want it for this fight, just because the tree fight is quite important. And uh, okay, uh, corrupted detection is pretty sweet. Um, okay, corrupted mind twist. I'll take that. It seems kind of cool. Um, and now you, you can take skills on, on Otis. Um, you can start filling his deck with those if you need. Um, and uh, since we have the, the Moonstone and the Starfall. And here we go. So you can't heal um, because you do have to lure the Dryad with the Moonstone. So you kind of want to think about that in the fight before this. Okay, so that's actually quite good. Um, hmm. Okay, so we did manage to um, find something that goes on before the mark. So this, I was hoping to either find this or the poison, right? So what, I mean, we had talked about um, earlier when I picked up this, this ring um, the fact that it's every turn and, and not uh, every or at the start of combat, which obviously every turn is like normally better, but right here there would have already been dark on him, three dark if you put it on a priest, and so he loses two his first turn, and then the second turn he'll dispel that one that's left. Um, and so luckily we had the sanctify from Otis's Otis's weapon and uh, the sight from Nez's weapon, and so um, it ends up with two debuffs, now a third, uh, this vulnerable, that then will uh, block the mark from going off. And so, oh, okay, well, get, finding Steelforge early does make this fight quite a lot easier. Um, if this is at the bottom of the deck, then sometimes you can get in trouble, but usually it's, like, really gonna be fine. Um, and you'll see... <laughs> you'll see why this card is so insane in this fight. Just like that. Um, and we do have quite a bit of time until we run into it. So, you actually want, like, ideally, what you want is a Starfall and a praise the sun on your second turn because then you've had a little bit more time for andrin to stack up the the mark on the tree but having it on the first turn is fine honestly i mean we dealt a bunch of damage added a bunch of sanctify so and killed the front tree so that's that's pretty nice 
Um, and here, you want to cast all your spells first. Oh, I didn't save the uproot. Oh, uh, well. We'll be fine. Um, give some of or some reinforce to our middle two guys. Okay, so then in my deck we have eight cards. Um, I'm gonna cast one of these and leave the others. Maybe I should have cast them both, but I think one is fine. Okay, and then let's get rid of these. And, uh, I think this, too. So you'll see we still have 23 mark on him. That was our goal. Add some more. Wild Hunt. Zoomy, zoomy. Let's actually just get rid of all of these. And here we go. So I, mm. oh, I should not have cast that heal. Ah, uh, yikes. Okay, well, is it better to, no, it can't be. Okay. And there we go. And that's how you do it. Okay, corrupted ballad. So I mean, that that's uh, that's the fight. That's why it's consistent. Um, just remember, in the boss fight, get three debuffs on the boss. If you need to not use Mark on your first turn, it's worth it um, to then wait and uh, try to get Mark on, or try to start adding Mark once you have. Three debuffs that will be on him on his second turn. Um, so yeah, uh, this let's see. So battle evasion, quite good. Um, I'll take that. Uh, an upgraded battle plan, I think, is worth it. Um, I don't think any of these are worth it. Um, really, with Otis, like you just want him casting Starfall as often as possible. So doing stuff to make that happen is usually what you want to do. Um, with Nez, Spectrum Missiles isn't the worst. Um, I'm gonna pass for now, just because that is a lot of uh, essence and whatnot, or er, shards. Okay, well, a reinforced armor is pretty nice. Um, the corrupted version. For Heiner is cool. Um, all these other ones are kind of meh, so I'm just gonna grab gold. Um, and that is Act One. So that's the super consistent start. Now I will continue on and do uh, the rest of this run, but uh, I mean this is like basically five times in a row that I've now done, gone through and had. Um, a successful tree fight. So it is pretty, pretty nice. Like this, this setup. Um, hope you guys like it, and let me know if you have uh, success using it. So I'm gonna head into the green portal, and I'll see you in Act Two.